The majority of the population are too transfixed by the mechanical consumerist way of life to notice the drastic changes that are occurring around them in reality. Nature is in free fall collapse, but the minority that care are outnumbered by those who have severed their connection to the world they depend upon to survive and just cannot seem to grasp that simple concept. The following clip was taken on the 7th of March 2018 at 10.30pm in Melbourne, Australia. The temperature was between 20 to 21 degrees C. Usually this time of the year, with such temperatures, there would be an abundance of insects surrounding outdoor lights. But as this clip indicates, such is not the case. It is the 7th of March, Wednesday, 10.30pm. Relatively warm night, warm enough to have insects. Swimming around a light. But unlike the past years, we have nothing. Just a few flies. Even up to a couple of years ago, it was full of bugs around here. Nothing, completely dead. So what happened to all the bugs? Even now that summer has passed, how many have noticed the near lack of insect splatter on the car windscreen upon rural travel? Is it the intense heat that melted so much of our roads this year? Or is it the intensity of the UV that is burning the flora? Or could it be the temperature fluctuation as the jet stream keeps bringing the Antarctic cold amongst hot days? What about the order followers that serve municipalities that are hell-bent on spraying glyphosate all day with the intent to control nature? The amount of anthropogenic activity that is killing life cannot be gauged. However, one amongst all stands out as the most destructive. From tearing apart the ozone layer, to poisoning everything, to deliberate manipulation of the jet stream. Whichever way you look at it, climate engineering is devastating every aspect of the living planet. And if we don't come to see the immediacy of our situation and act upon it now, we will have no chance in the very near term. Climate engineering primarily must be exposed and must be stopped.